Okay, here's the uh, the cabinet I finally got for the batteries. You can see down there. There's the uh, there's the two batteries, and on the shelf below it, you can't really see it that well, but there's a 2,000 watt inverter in there. The batteries proved to be a little too heavy for this uh, for this shelf, but I I got it propped up in there with a couple blocks of wood. I'm going to come in with a metal strap and and you know and, and strap it right up to the top. And uh, so anyway, all the solar uh, you can see the clamps in there coming in from the solar power. And on the other side, I got the uh, got the cables going to the inverter. And uh, it all locks up nice and neat here in this box. That, and then it's all stowed away. It's got a little lock here too, so if somebody's up here visiting the yurt with their kids, they can lock it up so they're not playing around with the batteries or anything. Should there be should the batteries pop or something, you know, explode for whatever reason, at least they're contained in that metal box. Uh, it's probably not gonna stop all the damage but at least it won't blast uh, acid up against the yurt uh, liner or anything. So now I got the desk is all cleared off, just a little radio. We added a bunch of other things here uh, since the last time uh, we took a uh, video here. We got uh, my cousin Tom who has an old camp right up the road here. He had this uh, wood stove laying around in there and the, the camp's abandoned he's going to basically tear it down and build a new one. So he said I could have the old uh, wood stove. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm hoping this will be uh, sufficient. That's it. That's where we're at.